Welcome to the universe. The events that make up our daily lives are often distracting and time-consuming. Most of us are simply too busy to pay attention to the stars, and yet many of us desire to be connected with them. Thankfully, some have devoted their lives to discovering our place in the universe and retracing the events that have shaped the cosmos into what we can see today. Their combined efforts have resulted in a scientific and beautiful history of all things, one which is still being written, that traces our origins to the stars themselves. Although this knowledge is freely available, primitive religious myths and irrational practices such as astrology permeate our cultures to such an extent that a significant number of people cannot distinguish fact from fiction, and this belittles our species because we fail to promote real knowledge and understanding worldwide. In this series, I hope to show you that the success of such ideas today really amounts to nothing more than a failure of the imagination when compared with the true story of the universe as forged by actively seeking and studying evidence. In the coming episodes, we'll explore how our model of the cosmos has changed drastically in light of scientific progress, bringing us to the forefront of modern research, and we'll see how our model may yet change again. You might be surprised by things you didn't already know about the universe, but remarkable new discoveries are made so frequently that I can't even guarantee that all the information in this series is up to date by the time you see it. Nevertheless, I hope you will be inspired to explore the subjects further. To commemorate the 400th anniversary of Galileo's first observations through his telescope, 2009 is the International Year of Astronomy. 140 nations are taking part, running initiatives worldwide to introduce people to the cosmos, if you find Welcome to the Universe interesting, why not look for an event nearby and see the night sky through a telescope? I assure you it's a unique and humbling experience. If you can't get to an IYA event, you can always give astronomy a go for yourself. Even a small telescope or set of binoculars will provide spectacular views. To learn more about IYA 2009, please visit astronomy2009.org. Thank you to everyone who donated toward the costs of audio recording equipment and video editing software. Your support is greatly appreciated. Each episode of Welcome to the Universe is entirely free, and sharing these videos is encouraged. Please see the video description for information on how you can do this. Stay tuned for part two, in which we'll look at the origins of scientific astronomy.